Look at this glow. I was really worried about that procedure. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, it's spring. So we are going to do a spring makeup look. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. It will mean the world to me. Now let's get started. So I have my sunscreen on and we are gonna go right into primer right away. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Primer, which is this one right here. I am so excited that spring is here. I look forward to the warm weather. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this L'Oreal so spring makes me feel very glowy so I want to create a nice glowy fresh look so I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion so by the way what do you guys think of my new background I've added some nice lights that I can change the color to whatever I want so I'm using purple because it's spring and I'm wearing purple so let me know what you guys think if you like that so let's apply this and this is in the shade 902 light glow it looks a little bit dark but it gives it this nice glow on the face so i'm just gonna put it on the high point Ooh, look at this glow i love this l'oreal lumi glotion and this l'oreal infallible glow lock primer they give the face like you can literally just go out like this and not add any foundation okay so now let's go in with co beauty liquid foundation this is an eight hour wear foundation it looks like this and this is in the shade vanilla and i'm gonna apply this to my oop face comes with this squeezy tube and this foundation is perfect for the natural look I'm gonna use my Mora Royal and Langenickel look at this it matches the purple and pink um, foundation brush if you hear any noises guys that's Kona in the background look how beautiful and luminous this foundation looks of course we have the beautiful L'Oreal underneath that gives it that extra glow looks very refreshing very ready for spring so now i'm gonna use a depth sponge this is by morphe and just gonna press everything in so what i like to use next um it's the becca under eye brightening corrector and mine is in the light to medium now i don't know if you guys heard but becca unfortunately is closing down they have a couple of this available on the sephora website so make sure you go ahead and grab some because they're i think they're only available till september so this basically brightens your eyes so i like to just apply it in the inner corner and then bring it underneath the eye so pretty look at that nice awakened look we're gonna go in with concealer and i'm gonna use the Too faced concealer i got this in a boxy charm and this is in the shade cloud so we're gonna use this to kind of prime our eyes and only in the outer corner here like that don't like to use too much i'm gonna go with the sponge so how is everyone doing today is a good day because it marks a week from Kona's spaying surgery which I'm so glad it's over with it was quite scary she just had a little bit of a mishap going on during her surgery but everything turned out great so I'm happy she's back she was back to normal like almost on the first day she's just a little bit more sleepy on the first day but on the second day she's already going crazy wanting to play wanting to jump on the couches so we had to keep a really close eye on her not to jump she's doing so much better so i'm so happy that's over with because i was really worried about that procedure so now i'm gonna go in with the maybelline fit me powder and mine is in the shade fair 05 fair so i'm gonna use a uh, mora royal and lang nickel this is a blush brush but i like to use it for powder because it has this nice pointy tip i'm gonna use a bronzer and this bronzer i got in a boxy charm as well and this is the ace beauty bronzed in paradise palette and this is what it looks like 
So I'm kind of dip the brush, unicorn fluffy brush, and kind of go like in all this three shades. I like this palette because it's so pigmented and you can also use it as eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with this beautiful Kevin O'Conn, the Neo Blush in the shade Grapevine. It's this nice ombre look from like a really light pink to more of a berry shade. So beautiful. And I got this blush from, uh, well in the, in the States it's called TJ Maxx, but here in Canada it's called Winners. And I love it because I got it for a really good price. For my blush brush, I'm gonna use this Mora Royal and Langnickel. And let's dip in this and apply it. So I'm just gonna go like that and go slowly because I don't want to too much. We want to build it up. Ooh, I normally like peach blushes and more bronzy blushes, but look, isn't that beautiful? So I'm just gonna bring this from the temple down to give it this nice lifted effect. And now for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Milani highlighter and this is a baked highlighter in the shade 110 Dolce Perla. And this is really nice. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see that? What a beautiful highlighter. Okay, so for my highlighter brush, I'm gonna use one of my favorite and only brush. This is the Mora Pro Glow brush right here. So let's dip in here. Too much, but it's okay. Wow, this highlighter is crazy. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this glow. Keep the highlighter. Maybe we'll use it later on in the inner corner. I'm gonna start with this Huda Beauty Nude Palette. It has some nice purples in it. And I'm gonna go into the shade Lace right here and use this as a transition color. Let's see how it looks. This palette is so beautiful and the, the shadows are so nicely pigmented. Like look how beautiful this eye looks with this shade on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye. So make sure you comment down below and let me know what your favorite Huda Beauty palette is. I would love to know. I have so many but this palette is my first high-end palette that I purchased and I really am happy to have this in my collection. Okay, let's go in with this shade right here. It's called Tickle in the middle, a nice pink shade and kind of put this with the same brush. This is a Mora crease brush and add this into the crease and darken this crease up a bit. So now I'm gonna go with another brush. This is the Mora Royal and Langnickel Doomed Shadow Brush. And I'm gonna go into that first shade and kinda diffuse this sharp edge here. And bring it up higher. Make sure that everything is blended nicely. And what I think I'm gonna do is bring this shade Tickle that we added in the crease and kinda bring it down on the eyelid. It's not a very dark color, so it's nice to have a nice pink eyelid. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with Love Bite. This is what I wanna put in, Love Bite. And add it in the outer corner. So for that, I'm gonna use this Mora Royal and Langnickel Doomed Shadow Brush and add it in the outer corner here. Just tap it. We're gonna blend it a bit. Do the same thing on the other eye. Pretty. So what I wanna do is add this dark shade in onto the bottom lash line. I'm gonna use this Mora Royal and Langnickel Smudger Brush and dip into this Love Bite right here and just add it on the bottom lash line. Now for sparkles, we have quite a few here. Let me try this Daydream daydream. Uh, this is called Crave right here and this is called Fantasy right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Fantasy in the middle right here just for a little bit of more intensified sparkles like that. Inside I'm gonna use Daydream right here and put it in the inner corner like this. 
which is more of a brighter it has like nice shimmers in it like silvery and gold very nice and this fantasy one is just has the same type of shimmers but the color is more on the pink side wow look at this gorgeous i love it so now for the highlighter i'm going to use the milani highlighter in the um, underneath the brow bone right here so this is a cold beauty kind of flat brush and just highlight this area here and i'm gonna add that in the inner corner that looks gorgeous i love it i don't want to leave the top bare i'm gonna use this blackest black by l'oreal and it's a, a gel so I'm gonna use it with a angled brush like this and this is the Mora Royal and Langnickel of course. Let's dip in here. Ooh, this is very pigmented and kind of create a line here, intensify this line more. Like I don't want to create a wing, it just kind of intensify this line more and it, it, op it brightens up that eye like it makes it a little bit bigger from what I see. So let's do the same thing on the other eye. I really, really enjoy using these gel liners. They're so easy to use. I just love them. They're much easier to use than those liquid ones, which you can make mistakes easily. But this is just like a nice gentle cream that just slides on your eye. So anyways, now I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and I'm going to apply my new mascara by Essence. This is this one right here, the Lash Princess Mascara in the shade Black. Enjoy this intermission and I will be right back. So welcome back, the mascara is all applied and now we're gonna go ahead and use a lipstick. Now for lips, I'm going to use a pink lipstick. So I think for lip liner, I don't know what lip liner to use. I'm using this ColourPop lip liners. I'm gonna use this pink one right here. So let's line the lips. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. This looks pink, very pink. Oh well, we're gonna add this beautiful Milani in the shade Pink Frost Lipstick. It has, it's like a light pink with some shimmers in it. Hmm, you know what? I don't know if this is the right color for the eyes. What do you guys think? Do you like it, how it goes together? But I haven't worn pink lipstick in a while and it's spring and it makes me happy so I hope you guys like it so anyways I hope you really enjoyed this video spring makes me just so happy because I know summer's coming so I'm really excited and this look makes me very happy and ready for spring so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it it would mean the world to me and I will see you in my next one Love you guys. Bye.